monitor is going off. Jim is filling up our tires this morning. We are heading to Albuquerque, New Mexico. We lost a bearing on one of our tires on our fifth wheel. And we found a place that will fix it for us and get us back on the road. But we have to limp it in, I don't even know how many miles, 40, 50 miles. But it sure beats 300 plus to go to Elk City and have them fix it. So that's our plan. And God bless him. He's just out there working hard. You know, we lost it yesterday, four miles out of Klein's Corner, where we were going to stay, where we're staying now. And uh, he handled it with grace. I didn't handle it so well. And um, I'm just grateful he handled it the way he did. So anyway, we're headed here soon. He's filling up, like I said, he's filling up the tires with air. And we're just going to slowly move to Albuquerque to this place who is going to be fixing it the way it needs to be fixed. Action. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, I don't think so. Back it in around the corner. Would you spot for me? Around down here? Or right here? Yeah. So do you trust the work? Okay, there we go. On the road, three tires again. <laughs> that was a long day. We got here at 10 15. I don't even know what time it is. It is 5 17. It was a long day. But it was worth it because now we're back on the road. Well, we're back at Klein's Corners. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we didn't, we were so tired this morning. Neither one of us got any sleep. We were going to try to limp it all the way into Oklahoma. And I, I had some bad dreams about it and Kelly had some bad dreams about it and we just both I got up this morning and checked the local area for um, axle and, and trailer repair and found a company in Albuquerque. Uh, so I called them and they said they had time to do it, but it took Jeez. them all day long. Yeah, we got there at 10.15 and left them at 5.15. Yeah, and yeah, it was, it was it was an experience. Hard day. But it's fixed. It is fixed. And so now we're back in Klein's Corner. So it was 70 miles one way at 40 miles an hour. Yes. And then we got back here to Klein's Corners tonight. We are gonna, we're gonna collapse. <laughs> we're going to make something to eat and yeah. just veg in front of the TV and probably fall asleep in our easy chairs. I think we're going to bed early again tonight. Yeah, we're it's, probably gonna. It's be. been a couple 
yeah. trying nights. But up early in the morning and headed for Elk City, so we're kind yes. of excited for that. But uh, very excited. The it's check it it's done it's fixed <laughs> it's the wheel bearing is fixed and that rode great on yeah. the way home. So yeah, we're, it came out so great. So far, so good. Back. So anyway, off to Elk City tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> All right, we are heading out to go to Elk City. We just need to uh, put away the electrical cord and we're on the road. I'm back in the saddle again. <laughs> Changing it up. <laughs> yeah, that's a change, that's for sure. It is 37 degrees here in Klein's Corners, New Mexico. The sky is clear. Really sunny. The forecast for Elk City, Oklahoma is 46 yeah. thunder showers. That's so, I don't like that. Here we go down the road. You look clear over here. Okay. If we haven't told you before, this place here at Klein's Corners, New Mexico, is just east of Albuquerque. And it's a, it's a pretty nice little stop. It's 30 bucks with tax, which brings it to 35 and change. But you've got full hookups, and so if it's cold or hot, you know, you've got electric. And we never, we usually just pull in and don't unhook. Yeah. And it's gated. And it's gated. Yeah. Uh, so you feel safe. It, you can hear some trucks on the highway once in a while, but for the most part, it's a pretty, pretty easy, pretty nice stop. And yeah. so we use this as kind of our, our go-to when we're in the area. We're going to get on the road today, go east on Interstate 40 to Elk City, Oklahoma. We've got some work we need to do on the rig. And uh, we'll probably stop once or twice and check the check the hubs. Uh, I did I did recheck my... Turn right on US 285. I did recheck my uh, lug nuts for torque this morning. For those of you that were wondering. And I checked my air pressure in my tires since it cooled down and I had to put some air in. One half mile. Tires. Turn left on I-40 East. But we're back in the saddle, we're hitting the road, and it looks like a beautiful day. So we're gonna try to enjoy it. That's should right. be there uh, should be there early afternoon. Time to make dinner. Here we go, down the road. I am never complaining about Texas roads ever again. No, these are nice. <laughs> we, and the ones we've been on, even this morning, not very nice. We 
we've been on New Mexico roads for the past three or four days, and it they're just awful. They're horrible. Oh, so bad that you just want to scream. That's how bad they are. They're they beat just, us up pretty bad. Yeah, it was so obnoxious. And and it seemed on their interstates, and not only here on I-40, but we have found we find the same thing down on I-10 in southern New Mexico. But the, there are potholes right exactly where your right front tire is going to hit in the lane. So you either go over into the side road or the you, off to the shoulder. Off the shoulder or you're going to go into the other lane and oh to avoid gosh. it. It's just terrible. It's, it's terrible. just awful. And they're spaced so that you get banged about every 10 or 15 seconds. <laughs> For a while there, there was nobody around us, so he was right in the middle of the road, right in the oh. line. Yeah, I took my half out of the middle. That's right. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. Oh my, my gosh. It's terrible. But as soon as we hit Texas, smooth as silk. And he looked at me, he goes, I'm never complaining about Texas roads ever again. <laughs> oh man. Well, it turned overcast. The weather has turned chilly. It's about 45 degrees outside. Yeah. It was misting there for a while. Yeah, we had some mist and a little bit of light rain, but now it's just overcast. We're about two hours out of Elk City, Oklahoma. Yay! And just to let you guys know on my wheel bearing issue, another reason that I really like the tire pressure monitor system, the TPMS, is they give you your tire um, temperature. So not only do they give you air PSI, but they also give you the temperature of your tire. And the way that I use that is we've been um, monitoring the tire temperatures to see if any of them spike. Uh, and I didn't expect them to, but it's just kind of a nice feature to have. And it's been a chilly day for the most part. It, the temperature, the tire temperatures started out in the mid 60s. And now that we're in the cooler weather, they're anywhere between 55 and, well, 50, between 50 and 60. Well, that was even degrees. nice yesterday when we were limping it to Albuquerque. Yeah. Yeah, so we limped it, it on two tires into Albuquerque to have the bearing repaired and I really kept my eye on the temperatures of the tires because as soon as if you get one spiking obviously you've got an issue and it, it's just yeah. something else that can help you along your route. Great so, tool, great yeah, tool to have. It is. So we haven't even stopped to check the hub temperatures because I haven't seen any spikes at yeah. all. Well, on, it's on the tires. It's almost freezing out there. Yeah. It's in the high 30s. Is that what you said? No, it's about 45 degrees, oh, 44 ooh, degrees. It's warm. It's warmed up. Um, so anyway, we're about two hours out of Elk City, Oklahoma, and uh, yes. we've already contacted our friends and let them know we're coming. And it's going to be like a reunion. Always is. Yep. I love it there. Yep. It's home. It's our other home. But I am, just to let you guys know, I am going to have Slade and the guys tear down all six axles on the RV. I've got a little over 20,000 miles on these, on these bearings being packed the last time. And so I'm just gonna have them tear everything out and repack all six. I mean, it's time, it's been a couple of years. And then uh, I, I know on the one, the bearing that I blew, the brake pads kind of got fried, and so I'm going to need to replace the brake pads on at least that one, and I want them to check the brakes. So that's one of the big service items we're going to have done this year. Um, and I usually have them packed every two, two and a half years. Anyway, it's an expensive process, but it gives me a peace of mind. Yeah. And I do maintain them. I told you, remember, on the last the video that we had maintenance on the RV, Slade recommends three squirts of grease into the grease circ on each axle and then six squirts into the Moride IS 
every 5,000 miles, and, and I'm pretty religious about that. But we blew a bearing, and I don't know why, but anyway. Don't want to do that again. Yeah, so that's one of the major items that they're going to do while we're there in, in Elk City at, at the service center, and we've got some other things that we need. We've got some friends that we're going to meet and kind of hang out with, and it's just kind of a family reunion for us. Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be really nice. So anyway, we're going to, uh, we've got some wind generators out here, and uh, must be in Texas. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll show you. Yeah, that's Ooh, kind of our, lots of them. kind of tells us which way the wind's coming from, and <laughs> today it's coming out of the northwest, yep. a little chilly. Here. And fuel is a little bit cheaper in Oklahoma, so we'll that's probably exciting. top off there before we start heading south. And, Sayre, Oklahoma. Yep. That's where we usually top And we off. get to go to church tomorrow. Oh, that's At Pastor right. Andy's church. We're coming for you, Pastor. So we're excited. We're going to spend some time in Elk City, Oklahoma, and... Uh, see some friends and hang out a little bit, get some service work done. RV parker out here somewhere? No, sir. You're in the wrong place. Your rig won't fit here. <laughs> how you doing, sir? I'm good. How are good you? To see you? Good to see well, you. Hello. Hello. It's good to be seen. Excellent. It's good to be here. I'm glad y'all are here. Well, it was good to be back in Oklahoma. It was. It was great seeing everybody. It was. Um, they're kind of, we kind of consider Slade and Alicia and, and uh, Mary Jo and and Liz and Jason and Travis and, and Gaylin Gay Lynn and Steve and, and the gang, we consider them kind of our second family. Yes, they you are. You know, we waited five months in Elk City, Oklahoma, waiting for this, and they they just treated us so well while we were there. I know, Jason and his family, every time we'd go over there, if we were in there for the holidays, Yeah. we were part of the family. Yeah, they're a good group. Oh, and something that we did learn while we were there, um, for those of you that are, some of you aren't aware, but for those of you that are aware, Alicia stepped away from sales for a while. Mm -hmm. And we're happy to announce she's back in sales again. Yay. And it's and it's DRVs only. That's all they that's all they sell, that's all uh -huh. they service, and they're a wonderful, wonderful A plus 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 dealer. So if you're looking for um, an RV, a fifth wheel, please look her up. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. You can, she's, she's ready to order coaches again for those that, that want coaches. Absolutely. Uh, she's got a great consignment business going and, uh, and the service department is, is just a number one. Yeah. And if you need a flex armor roof, yeah, go to them too. They are fabulous. Yeah. So anyway, we got to hang out with, with all those guys for a while. Uh, the service that we had to do obviously was on the bearings and I had them, like I was saying earlier, uh, I had them, Take apart all all three axles, all six wheels, and just uh, clean up the bearings and and check them all and make sure everything's good and, and repack everything. Um, I I had an opportunity while I oh oh and our and our bedroom cable slide broke again. Things happen, yeah. And know? and it was so funny because I tried and tried and tried and tried to get that old cable out of there. I I couldn't make it budge. And so Jason, Jason got up there on his man lift and actually <laughs> attached the cable to his man lift and tried to back the man lift out and, and the man lift wouldn't even pull it out. Oh, is that right? It was, I didn't know yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty messed up. But anyway, they got that fixed for us. And, and I got a chance to, um, to reseal uh, all the exterior seams on the rig while I was there. Um, that's something that 
you know that as an RV owner you should be aware of you know they put silicone around the doors and and all the seals and everything and and if you don't then you could have water intrusion and really end up with some issues and and mine hadn't been done since we left the factory with a couple of, of patch jobs and so I, I stripped and, and resealed the whole rig uh, with some help from our good friend yeah <laughs> it will be remain nameless yes <laughs> but anyway um, we we got a chance to hang out with with our good friends Neil and Don and, and even got a chance to go to church with them that's right before they had to leave we got to spend some time with them it was really nice yep. it's been go to Oklahoma they said It'll be nice going south for the winter, they said. It's south. It's always warm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wrong. We're in Oklahoma. And... I want to bust out in song. Oh, oh my gosh. Oklahoma. <laughs> and right now the temperature in the vehicle says it's 30 degrees outside. Yeah. And the wind's blowing at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Right. It's at perfect. perfect. So as you guys know, we like to head to uh, visit different churches while we're on the road. And our good friends, Neil and Don, are here in Oklahoma in the wind and the cold <laughs> with us. And uh, we're going to church this morning. Yay. We might be the only ones there. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys know, we always, you know, love visiting churches while we're on the road. And we found a really good one in Sarah, Oklahoma. And, and we got a chance to take Neil and Don with us. Uh, they'd been there before with us, and, and so they went with us. And, and we met some new friends there, um, John and Janice. Mm -hmm. uh, they were having some work done on, on their RV, and we... Guys, this is just... I don't know. This this is just something that we love about this lifestyle. There's yeah. just something about being able to to meet up with friends on the road, yeah. get together and, and fellowship and, and have a good time. And, and it's so amazing, the people God puts in front of us. Yeah. It's, he just blesses us and, and he'll put people in front of you as well. Absolutely. You know, if, if you choose this lifestyle, uh, get out and meet people. And then it's so much fun to crisscross along the road. Our good friends from Montana, Juan, Juan and, and Teresa, Teresa they, surprised us. They just happened to be in the area, and so they stopped by, and and we hung out for a little bit, right? And, and had just just had a great time. Yeah. It was good to see them again, and yeah, they're headed right. south for the winter as well. And, and we'll and see them in the spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, uh, it's just it's just a for us. It's just a really really neat lifestyle, and we don't see us coming off this coming off the road anytime there's too many things to see <laughs> foreseeable future and and too many people to to get together and meet up yeah. with so we've had a number of comments a number of questions asking uh when and if we're going to be in the yuma quartzite southern arizona area this winter so uh we kind of laid it out earlier in the season um everything right now is in jello guys uh everything. we decided to leave this season uh open Mm -hmm. um, the only thing in, in stone right now is we're going to visit our daughter and her family in North Texas for Thanksgiving. We've got some very, very, very precious friends that that we've come to love uh, like family in San Antonio. And uh, we're going to stop and see them for a while. And then uh, the plan is, is we're going to go down and get some Cajun food for a few days I know in southern Louisiana <laughs> uh, and then we've got some great friends that we met up in Montana and and they've got a place in Mobile and and they asked if if we had time to stop so we're gonna stop and hang out with them for a little bit and then we're gonna go to uh, the Panhandle of Florida for Christmas and see some friends that we've known for over 30 years um, and hang out with them for Christmas after that everything's in jello yeah and it's kind of nice it is. not having to it is to worry about that so are we going to be to southern arizona this season yeah yeah we'll be there we just don't know when uh yeah, we decided to just jump around this year yeah not stay in one place for months yeah and and as things come up you know we don't have any plans and so we can do whatever we want yeah. um so that's been kind of nice uh that's just kind of how we roll and I, if i had to guess i would say that we're going to be in southern arizona i don't know Mid to late January would be my guess. Uh, we're going to spend a, you know, a little bit of time in Yuma. Uh, we we just found out that Ricky and Denise Parker, some very good friends of ours, some special friends of ours, together. are going to be in Yuma uh, this winter. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stop by and see them. Uh, of course, we'll stop by and see everybody at Quartzsite. I'm sure for for a while. I don't know how long we'll be there. Uh, we do have kind of plans to meet up with 
some uh, folks from Shy Rock in Montana uh, in Wickenburg this winter for uh, a few days, if not a week or two, and we're going to try boondocking out there. Uh, so we, you know, we've just got a lot of things we want to do, but we just don't have the dates for it yet. So stay tuned, and, and we'll keep you advised. Yeah. But that's again, that's why we love this lifestyle. Is we get to travel the country, see the sights and then meet with relatives and friends along the way and crisscross and and like i say juan and teresa we haven't seen them since we left montana that was and, and, and they just popped in yeah we got to see them they kind of they were behind us yeah. as we were traveling yeah. and so we got to see them again yeah and it, what a what a blessing that is so it's been a lot of fun yeah. and uh Anyway, uh, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, we the, the wheel bearing's fine. Everything's working great. The service is done. We're feeling really good about life right now and yes. travel. And uh, we're going we're gonna to kind of hang out with some friends and family over the holidays and have some fun. And uh, we'll wrap it up from Elk City, Oklahoma. It all starts with an idea. Turn those ideas into reality and make some great memories, guys. It's so much fun. Put smiles on your faces. <laughs> we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.